here we go so this is uh this is the man cave area done so this was the symphony planks supplied from marshall's really nice all grouted already the grout we use is the marshall's exterior jointing grout mega 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 strong really nice so yeah hope you enjoyed this one um and hopefully you'll enjoy this one so i've got to set some lines up now and make a completely new video so let me show you how i've uh, how i set this out so i've got a string line here to the left which is square to the house so i've run that down there used my straight my square corner there to come out to 1.2 because that's the width of the tiles 1.2 at the bottom 1.2 at the top so let me just have a little look from the top down this way because i haven't done that yet so that is the angle of the dangle yeah that looks fine i'll double check with the customer first though just so you can actually see what i've set out and give me the go ahead now i can start ripping her up busy b busy b being on the digger i like the diggers they're fun well they're kind of fun until you hit gas or electric or water no no it sucks but i didn't hit anything today i did scrape over a pipe briefly but that was fine um i'll spin around and show you what we have mostly been doing today okay so right right okay so path done um, 150 mil deep, 100 mil type one going on it. Width 1.2, sorted. This bit was a bit of a nuisance, but that's in. That's plenty deep. Um, yeah, we filled a skipper, and I got a bit of a pile left. So I shall be using a man with a van for the rest of it. Path round there done up to there sorted so apparently travis can't get you till thursday and today's tuesday so it looks like i shall be mostly laying in bed tomorrow sleeping right okay so um we've got to take some tiles around the back rather than sticking them on a wheelbarrow we've got two grabos we might as well use them innit? these things are brilliant 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 And off we go. Well, there we go. There's one, one pack of the tiles moved over. So much easier than doing it normally. So uh, yeah, glad I got two grabos. Awesome bit of kit, guys. Awesome bit of kit. And the battery life, I haven't mentioned this yet, is really, really, really good. That's one thing I have noticed, battery life. Fantastic. 10 out of 10, well done. So did I ever tell you I was a bit crap with the digger? Always bloody hitting things. Well, guess what? I just hit a bloody water pipe. So I'm gonna show you now on ways how to fix things like that. Bear with me. So there we go, like I said, yeah, I put the blade, I put the blade down earlier when I was on the digger and all I could do was So I just been out to get another piece of pipe. So I need two connectors. These connectors, they don't have a ridge in the middle. So these, in theory, they can slide back and forth. So I got two of those. What I need to do now is chop off where the cut is from about there to about there. As soon as I chop that off, then I'll show you the next part of the procedure. Okay, so we cut off the offensive bit of pipe. Now I've got another piece of pipe there, which fits in the gap nicely. So what we have to do now, if you notice this end of the pipe, 
is a bit smoother around the edge. I need to make this end the same and I need to smooth that end up and that end up and then that will make that easier to slide on there. So I'll just sort that bit out and show you what happens after that bit. Okay, so I've smoothed up the edges on there and around there. That fits nicely in the middle. So what we need to do now, we need to put on these pipes. So these pipes will slide straight across. That's because there is no lip there in the middle. Some pipes do have a lip in the middle. So um, that's as far as the pipe will go, but these are specially done so they can slide back and forth. Otherwise you'd never get the middle piece on. So this bit, you need some fairy liquid. So the next part is putting the pipe on here and marking the distance of the pipe where it, where it needs to go. I'll show you a little bit more detail on this bit. When I actually put the pipe in, it'll make a bit more sense. Right, I just rubbed fairy liquid all around there to make to allow the pipe to um, slide on easier. Now I've got to put the fairy liquid on these things. All right, I got the one side on, now I'm going to put the other side on. So what you want to do here, you don't want to be beating it with a hammer onto the plastic. You have to have a piece of wood of some sort. So, tap this in now. And I want to get this to that pencil mark I had earlier. Or thereabouts. There we go. That's cool. So the next bit now is to put the new piece of pipe in. Okay, so I just lubed up the um, centerpiece I'm actually replacing. Now all I have to do is bang the collars over. Um, I'm not going to show you this bit because I need two hands. Right, well I just gave it a couple of taps with a hammer. It's holding it firm in place. Now we're gonna move the collars over to position. Then I'll show you what I did with those red marks earlier so we know it's actually central. <laughs> okay, there we go. I just boshed my finger. I'm always boshing things, aren't I? Right, okay, pipe's in. So remember the pencil mark, pen mark I did earlier, which is there. Oops, hang on, let me do it again, that's there and over this side, which is here. So I know it's central and I know this pipe is it's about, 50, about there, I suppose. So I know it's moved over 50% of that pipe. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Right, let's try not do that again. And let's try not hit my finger again as well, because I'm fed up of hurting myself. Right, okay, so the end of the day, I think it's time to go on. Right, okay, so, um, yeah, starting to lay the tiles now. So these tiles are 1200s by 600s. This is the pattern we're doing. We're doing one this way and two that way. But because the tiles are so big and so heavy, what we're gonna do here now, we're gonna use two of the grabos. We'll lay the bed, stick the tile on it, adjust it, see if it needs to come up or down. And when we know we've got a good height, then we'll lift the tile back up, spin it around, prime it, re it, put it in position, and we know then it's right, without me having to beat hell's bells out of it to get it down, to drop down a couple of, you know, a centimetre or something. So we know that's pretty much in a good position now. We'll lift the tile back up, prime it, stick it back in. So keep watching. So now I know the actual tile will fit. What I've done on the top, I've just done a wiggly little swerve along the top just to make it not flat, just a little bit rigid so when I put the tile on it, it all sinks down to exactly the same height. So, uh, I'm so glad I got grabos because this would have been really tricky. See how easy this will be now with two grabos? Brilliant. Bear with me. Hey, this is how easy it is with the grabo. Yeah, done. Imagine how hard that would have been if you had to have one either side, or even if there was one person each end, it still would have been hard to have got your finger right into that corner without 
boshing your finger, covering it in crap, and just making life in general more difficult. So yeah, a great example why these grabbings are good. Right, well, I'm gonna tap it down, lay some more cement down, stick another one in. Bosh, 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 Friday afternoon, pub. No, actually, no pubs open, is there? Oh well, I'll have coffee instead. Going down well. Normally I hate these tiles. They're just really big and awkward. But it really is so much easier than normal. Just pick up, handle, plop, down, great. No stretching. Look, my fingers are still clean. Normally I'd crap all over them. But yeah, they're going down really well. So uh, grab yourself a grabo. Or if you're doing big tiles, grab yourself two grabos peekaboo going home didn't get a great deal done today but we had some other bits and bobs we had to do so um, we got the other bits and bobs done so we're going to leave this bit now to next week because I got some really complicated setting out where these three paths are going to meet each other so we're going to call it a day for that for now, but good God, I tell you what, that, those grabos, having two of those puppies made that so easy, so easy. Normally, it's a bit of a swine, but it just like absolutely makes sense to buy them. Just so, all right, they're not cheap, all right, fair enough, you know, yeah, 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 but you got to invest sometimes, you know. It just made it so much easier. Normally my back would have been like, ooh, ooh, is it going to have a twinge? No, fine. Lean over, put it down, tap -de tap -de tap taps Done. So, I'm going home. See you Monday. How are you doing? Clean trial. It's got the cleaner on the weekend. Oops. Ah, get a grinder on it. Ah, good as new. Good as new. Happy days. So yeah, good day the other day. Doing these tiles. Get yourself two grabos if you're doing big tiles. Brilliant. So easy the other day. It really was. I couldn't get over how easy it was. And I didn't get a single bit of primer on my fingers just really really good so i have had a lot of people asking me about these where to get them from so my tip is they're called grabo go on to google type grabo bosh done they're about 300 quid each uh, i don't know what other types are out there i just saw these i thought they were awesome i just grabbed them there are other makes available but these are lush i love them i love them especially for the big tiles especially when you've got a dicky back like me so yeah, we've got a couple of cuts to go in there. We've got three more tiles to go in there. Then I've got to cut the angle of the dangle where the paths change shape. So um, we're going to get those bits in. Then we're going to do this bit by there, which you can't see behind the camera. Get that bit in today as well. Following day, the bit heading that way. And then it's going to pour down with rain. So uh, if we can get this in now, the next two days, I'll be happy with that. At least then the job will be done and I can concentrate on something else and hopefully get an MOT on my van. Because it did run out a while ago.
Right, enough talking about me not having MOT. Let's grab some grabs and lay some towels. Hello, hello, anybody in there? Anybody in there? Now, how easy was that? Absolutely flew in there. So before I come to the conclusion of this video with the um, the old grabos, I'm just going to pick somebody up. Good friend of mine, Matty Brock, uh, Marshall's installer, Brockstone Landscaping, he's called. Um, he won the national award for the overall best installer in the country about three years ago. His work's incredible. Just started a YouTube channel off. You know, he's, he's, had, he's about 700 odd um, subscribers he's got at the moment, but he is so worth watching. So if you like the stuff I do, You'll love the stuff where he does because he's bloody great. Um, yeah, he put a video online the other day um, laying um, sets to a radius. One of the best videos I've ever seen. Put a bit of humour into it, a bit, a bit of fun into it. I was actually like a proud dad at the end of it when it finished. I was uh, really happy for him. So I'm going to put a link in. I'm going to put a picture up now of his uh, webpage. Ding! Should arrive about now. Check it out. Really worth watching. He's gonna go. He's gonna go far. This fella. He's really, really gonna go far. So um, yeah, keep up the good work, Matt. Brilliant. Really, really good. Um, yeah, we'll do a little collaboration. I reckon in the summer, I'll pop down to you, or you pop down to me. We'll do a couple of days together and um, make a nice little video. Right. So that's him bigged up. Back to the grabo. Gonna pick up those two inch thick concrete tiles now. And um, got a little bin area over there to do, so a couple of more to go in, but you'll be able to see how good they are picking up those things as well. Catch you in a bit. Right, we're gonna pop down a couple of these big horrible beastie 50 mil concrete slabs. But yeah, we'll use a grabo. And we all know how horrible those things are to lay. Horrible, horrible, horrible. One more. God, I hate those things with a passion. All right, cut more delay, then uh, time to clean up. Time for the verdict. That's what the verdict is. Brilliant. Ah, knew I was going to say that anyway, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I haven't been paid to do this by anybody. I'm just doing it because it's a damn good tool. So, um, yeah, so I haven't been pushed into saying things I don't want to say. The things I do want to say is great tool. Yeah, uh, friend of mine, another landscaper in Cardiff. Uh, we were talking about it yesterday, about the Grabo. And um, I finished with it now. I don't need it. I've got a couple of walls i got to build next week, so I don't need it. And he's got a job coming up with the 1200 by 600. So I'm going to lend it to him and see what he's got to say about it. But my verdict is proper tidy like. Banging, banging tool. Right. Enough of this video, and once again, thanks again for 
the 10,000 subscriber. Uh, I wish I knew his name. Actually, when it gets to it, I'll go on to the YouTube studio thing. And I'll see if I can pick out his name and I'll stick it at the end of the title. Right, okay, for now, we're out of here. Catch you on the next job. Later.